Uh, I need to do a video, but uh, I'm lazy, so let me just let me just sit down here. Uh. What's up, guys? David here, and today I have a video that many of you have been asking me for a long time. So here it is. I'm gonna be talking about plastic guards, plastic guards, and metal guards. These are the guards that I use for the most part for all my haircuts, right? So I'm going to show you guys that are pretty much kind of the same thing. So from the detachables, I have uh, almost all of them. I don't need all of them, so that's why I don't have them all. But I have this a three, two and a half, two, one and a half, one, a quarter, one. And this one's over here up to you so I can erase the skin line. So this will be a little shorter than a one this will be which will be kind of like a three quarters this is a half this is a little bit uh, closer than a half this is a machine all with the lever all the way close and this will be like the trimmer okay so I'm gonna show you guys right now what I mean with that this right here in the is the Andes masters right uh, if you guys can see it has the little the little notches on the side so when you close it you kind of know exactly, you know, how much you're closing it and it makes it easier to erase the skin line, right? So I'm going to show you the attachables, what I mean with this. So this is the one, right? So I will say the one will be here, right? Pretty much, okay? So then this will be the one notch closer. Then this one will be half, okay? This one will be here. This one will be here, all the way close, right? And this one will be the same as the trimmer. So if you have a trimmer, you know, a regular trimmer like this one, this one will be kind of like, kind of like the same. Pretty much, if you want to erase the skin line, you know, you're starting right here, so you you already have a one. So you will do this. All this four will be like closing the notch little by little. See, many of you will be saying, "Oh, but that's way harder to have to change the." the blades and this and that but the truth is that it's not really harder it's actually pretty quick i do it pretty quick like some people can just move the lever and erase the line honestly what i do i just kind of like uh do the same with this okay now that i show you guys how i raise the line with the detachables like the skin line then uh, i think it's easier to understand the other one how i said this is a three this is a two and a half two one and a half one and a quarter and a one, right? So pretty much this is a three and uh, this is a three, this is a three, this is a three, and this is a three, right? The difference between these are just, uh, I mean, they're pretty much almost the same length. Uh, the only difference is that, for example, like this one, it doesn't have a lever, right? So it cuts what it cuts and that's it. That's the length that it cuts, which is exactly uh, 9.5 millimeters, right? This one and this one, the problem is that this ones are used on machines that have levers. So as you open and close the lever, the, the length is gonna change, right? Also depends on the type of blade. Some blades, how we talk about this, like the surgical blades cut closer, so they're gonna cut closer and uh, some blades cut longer. So that's why it, it makes it a little different for this to, to when you use them because they might not be the same from everybody, right? This ones will always be the same. If you don't adjust it, you don't move it, it's the way it comes from a factory and that's it. These ones are different. So my recommendation for everybody is to stick, if you are new to this and you're just learning, stick with one type of guards and that's it. You won't, you won't have problems if you stick with one type of guard. So you can do all your fades, for example, with this or you can do all your fades with this ones or what I do, I do all my fades with this ones. One is not better than the others. It's really not, they're all the same. So for example, here we have a eight, seven, six, uh, five, four, three, two, one and a half, a one and a, and a half, okay? And this one's for example, I don't have all of them because I don't really use them, but I have a four, three, two, one and zero. And this doesn't make uh, one and a half, you know, they don't make it because you really don't need it. 
if you look at the way this these guards are they're like a little like a little round here so what you do pretty much is that you kind of scoop the hair out so you really don't need it okay with the walls you might need them just because uh, they're a little more flat how you can see they're flat so it's, it's easier to make lines so that's why that they have like a one and a half in a in a, in a, in a zero that will a half so you can actually erase those lines that you you leave there um with this ones it could be kind of the same you know like you have all these metal uh, detachables in between each other some people need them some people don't like there's a lot of them i don't have just because i don't need them so what i do is like i use the corners the corners of the of the blade so i can actually you know erase the lines i need to erase another question that i get asked a lot is about this blade which is the one a the one a is actually like a one and a quarter to say it like that if you want to say it like that but it really not what it really is is say like, it's for example this is the one this is the wall the wall number one so pretty much what it is is if you put the one on your machine and you and you have the lever open so you have the lever on this position that's really what it is to be honest with you that's pretty much what it is is that kind of the same length of this machine with the lever open with a number one so pretty much in this case will be this one this one will help me to erase the one and the one and a half so this this one falls behind uh, between these two okay for everybody that keeps on asking me what the one is uh, that's pretty much what it is if you don't have detachables it will be this one so we pretty much is any guard that helps you erase the line between the one and the two. Many of you are always asking me why I prefer having detachable blades, why I love, uh, love cutting with detachable blades. And honestly, there's no really a reason for it. Um, I just kind of like them, you know, like I feel they have more power, but it doesn't mean that my fades or my haircuts are gonna look better because if I tell you that, that's a lie. It's really not because of that. It's just, honestly, it's personal preference. I used to cut with the Oster uh, 76 before and I just love that machine. It just felt like it had so much power and that's why I kind of started using them and I kind of like that. Um, I feel like they're quicker. I mean, yeah, you gotta switch the, the blades, but I feel like, I don't know, they're quicker for me, for me to fade. So all I wanna do with this video is explain to you guys a little bit the difference between them, the, the plastic cards. There's not a lot of them, the differences. They're pretty much the same. I mean, you guys gotta understand that the machine is not really gonna make you better. Yeah, I mean, a better machine might help you, but it doesn't mean it's gonna make you a better barber. Okay, these are tools. These are tools that we use to make our lives easier and to, you know, do our haircuts, uh, do a better job doing our haircuts. That's what I'm trying to say. So treat this as they are, you know, like many of you ask me, what's the best machine? Why you do this? Why you do it with that machine, not with this machine? Honestly, it's just personal preference. There's barbers out there that only cut with walls. Some people only cut with Oster or Andes or J, JLRs and, and you know, or, or detachables. They all do a great job. So it doesn't matter the machine, doesn't matter the tools. It matters is that what you like, what you feel comfortable using and how you use uh, those tools. I'm gonna continue doing a lot of my different videos, doing different machines and do different guards, just in case that if you're one of the people that only has walls and you see me doing a video of walls, then you're gonna be happy because you're gonna feel like a little more comfortable because that's the machine you use. But then somebody else might be using only Andy, so I wanna do a video for them as well or people that only use detachables. So I wanna make sure that you know everybody's learning and everybody's actually getting something out of these videos that I do. So. That's the video guys. Uh, I want to he really hear what you guys got to say about the video. If there's anything else that you want me to elaborate, please let me know. Please comment below and also um, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That helps the channel grow. Also, if you like the videos and you want to see more, don't forget to hit the little bell so you get all the notifications. And leave me your comments. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys on the next one.